Hey guys, it's I, partner, doing a unboxing video this time around. This time was the Legacy of Destruction uh, box. This is for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's 25th anniversary. What's it called? Uh, I ended up getting this box today when I went to do some grocery shopping and other errands. This box contains four Legacy, pa uh, Legacy of Destruction packs, each pack containing nine cards each. And also comes with an exclusive token card, you can see right here. Where it's characters from the show. You can see right there, we have Kaido on the left. Crowler in the middle, Yuzu on the right, and then both bottom cards are both Yugi. Each one summoning their respective boss monster. Well, with Yugi having two. One of them being his boss monster, Gandora. I'm pretty sure this one, Gandora uh, demo, uh, of Destruction, or is it Demolition? Not too sure, I gotta look closely, but I do get the card. The other one has Silent Swordswoman, and I mean, Silent, Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman. But with that out of the way, let's do the unboxing of the video. Or at least unboxing the box. Which, as this has plastic, you can remove the plastic pretty easy. And hopefully, I don't get screwed over by the uh, not getting anything uh, colorful in the extra products. Because it happened to me last time was the um, when they did the whole God Card one. Or the Gold Pack. Oof. So the four packs right here. Not a problem. And then we have... Hey, we got Kaido! Nice. Raid Raptor. A archetype that it should do like using when it comes to um, XC summoning. Let's go with this token. Pretty nice design. Very shiny. How I like it. And now let's go for each of the packs. Put them right here. I will say, I do have sleeves on the side, so we got anything good and nice. Uh, that will go into the sleeves. Oh, we'll put them in the respective area. Uh, shiny cards over here. Regular normal cards over there. Now let's open the box and hopefully unpacking this will be easy and fun. Usually when you're unpacking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you always got to be careful with not trying to um, uh, bend or break the cards. I like to keep my cards in usually pristine condition most of the time. Okay. Let's see what we get. Ooh, hello there. We got ourselves another cop. Well, I, I think I've gotten this pack before. I'm pretty sure or not. Got another pack of Isaiah, the Dragon is of the Range Devotion. Not bad. We got, ooh, that's a water monster. Another Sinister Spoil of the Slumber, Morian. Not bad at all. Ooh, Ragnarka, the Skeletal Soldier. Oh, normal monster, so not bad at all. Oh. Sagan Common. Pretty nice. Spell cart. Now we go with the Shiny. Ooh, Fishborg Harpoon. This is, I'm pretty sure, this is their secret rare. Uh, it's a tuner, level 4 tuner. Ooh, not bad. You gotta see what level 4 tuners I have for water monsters, I'm pretty sure. Another Ranganka monster. Ooh, Gruesome Grave Squasher. If only it was one of the Ravenger cards, I probably would have done this. Hagen Lizard, Lizard Rose. Not bad. Ooh, hello there. One of the new uh, meta cards for right now, I think. Now, when it comes to the TCG video, Tempai Dragon Chandra. Because the Tempai cards are in the meta and going to be useful for a whole lot of stuff. I kind of hate, because I thought I had a Trident Dragon, but apparently I don't. Uh, with the cold. Uh, but I guess I don't have a Trident Dragon. Okay, go with the next pack right here. Overall, not bad. Usually, when I do these, it's always funny games and whatnot. Next box opening. Always got to be careful with these cards. And not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad that we got like at least what's it called nine cards each. Because I think lately or before, usually it's been like what four or five cards. Okay, turn around. What do we got? Ooh, Sangapai Biting Dragon. Ooh, I don't know. If that's one of the new tuners. Ooh, I see fire. Synchro. Jungle Dweller. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is it like, wait? Do you guys see the um? Senpai Biting Dragon. Not gonna lie, the artwork, I really do love the artwork, it's pretty nice. Ooh, Jungle Dweller, that's actually pretty nice artwork. Kinda reminds me of, um, damn, what's the Link card? Uh, uh, the Dweller monster, that it's a Link 4. Dweller something. No, it's a, uh, not, it's not a Link, it's, um, Exceeds. I use it for, uh, when I do my, um, Exceeds, I'm into, uh, Zeus. Extinguish of the Ashen. Ooh! I want new Ashen cards. Which I do kind of want to get at least some cards so I can... Oh, hello there! Sengen Kai Transition Dragon. 
Talk about tuners. We got another tuner fire monster. That's actually going to be pretty nice. Look at this beauty right here. This is a secret rare. Pretty sure. That right there is going to go into the pack over there. Got another one. Witch Lord. Not bad. Especially with a lot of zombie cards. So especially with zombie cards being a lot more supported now than before. Ooh, Ranganga. It's, especially since I do have, I think, two cop, two or three copies of Eldridge. Of the uh, Golden Eldridge. Uh, yada yada card. You you probably know Golden Eldr Eldridge. Ooh, Ancient Gear Commander. I do got some Ancient Gear cards. Older ones, but I think they still work. Pack number four. Ah. No, it's been a while since I've actually opened any good Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm actually going to try to come back into it. I think one of the decks I'm actually going to try to build, mainly because I play Master Duel, as you see in streams and whatnot when I do streams uh, on occasion. My main deck that I like to use is my Volcanics. A little bit of uh, Snake Eyes with um, the Bill of Star. Okay, not all Snake Eyes. It only has like one Snake Eyes, and that's Ash. And three copies of the Bell of Star with some of the spell cards, but mostly it's a Volcanic deck. And it runs as a Volcanic deck. Ooh, another Eyes of the Dragoness. The range. I really do like this card artwork design. Also because I like the dragon girl. Ooh. Centaur and Gargoyle number two. Another dragon. I'm liking all these dragon designs. So you can see right there. Really nicely designed. Oh, hello there. Ooh. Then I'm also seeing a trap monster. That's not trap tricks. Actually not bad. I see a lot of these when I'm playing Master Duel. Especially when you're trying to do like a... Ooh. Combo decks and whatnot. Ooh, that's a little surprise. Miyazukin, the Fang, the Moon Fang Dragon. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of um, Digimon uh, creature. Fuck, what's it called? Um, Flame Dramon, or uh, the one with that Dusty Egg Evolution. Oh, hello there. Pretty sure this one's an Ultra Insect. Ranakiri, the Stag Sovereigner. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Pretty sure it's an Ultra. Usually when it comes to rarities, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure this is an Ultra. Usually Ultras comes with the Reflecting Shiny, and this was also its name too. When it's not an Ultra, uh, its name usually is never highlighted. Ooh, Christian Witch, hello there. Another uh, Spellcaster. Really cute too. Hello, more Ancient Gear cards, which is good. I actually might make an Ancient Gear deck on Master Duel. I actually do get the chance to. Hello, Stronghold, the Inner Fortress. I'm pretty sure I got... If I didn't get this one during Dark Sand Dimensions, then that's actually pretty good. I got another copy of this. Oh, wait. Got one more card. Ooh, Sinful Spoil Sobdero. With the new witch card that's of uh, enemy of... Oh, no. Is it, is it Morian? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Morian. Against uh, rival of Diabella Star. And last back. Let's go with this. Okay. Overall, pretty liking the cards right now. I mean, not anything special and whatnot. I've been wanting some more of the Tenpai cards. But I guess they only work if you have Trident Dragon. And right now, if you don't have an older Trident Dragon and trying to get one of the new ones, it's going to be very expensive. But still, got to go. Ooh, Ancient Gear Advance. Not bad, not bad at all. Sinful Spoil Struggle. Pretty nice, not bad at all. If I want to build what's called some Sinful Spoil cards or... Rag Ragnica, the Hunting Dance. Pretty nice trap card. Ooh. Hello, Mel Meladius Sangstress. Hello. I mean, I do kind of play Pendulum. I do have my odd eyes cards. Oh, hello there. Ren Genka, the Chain Coils. Ooh. This one's a super rare, I'm pretty sure. Card works pretty nice, though, I'm not going to lie. It looks beautiful right there. That one's going to go over here. Then, ooh, the Mementillion. Ooh, Mementillion Fusion. <sighs> I'm still trying to figure out how to work the, Mo the Mementillion cards in Master Duel. Like, I have the decks how it should be built, but trying to make them work is, like, still hard. I mean, I'll get to it eventually, but... Ooh, Sangin. Wait, is this for, um... Oh, no, this is for Tempai. Okay. And that is it for the, um... Legacy of Destruction overall. Not bad cards. We got pretty nice ones right here. Ooh. Actually, what I should have been doing, especially for these guys, put them foil cards. Always got to keep these guys safe and sound. 
Uh, but what's it called? Overall, not bad pulls. We got some pretty nice, decent cards. If I decide to... Ooh, careful. Might go in there. Don't be rough with the cards, please. Uh, what's it called? If I do start uh, getting, uh, getting more decks and whatnot, I might try to build me a Rangankai deck or maybe some um, Tenpai. I will say, as far as real life cards, or at least decks, I'm going to try to build in real life. I'm going to try to build through my real life volcanics, as I now know the deck is very supportive and, and Master Duel. I've been using the deck. It's probably my main win condition in Master Duel. Uh, I have face decks where it has countered my, what's it called, volcanics, but generally speaking, I've had very good successful on Master Duel against other decks with volcanics. A lot of times, because I'm usually burning my opponent before they can take me out, so usually I get the win before they get the before they get the route. But overall, pretty nice. Overall, uh, good card pack opening. It's been a while since I've opened any Yu-Gi-Oh cards in like a couple months. Overall, pretty nice. We got some pretty nice new cards. These will do well for my if I do any future decks. Got a new token card with Kaito. This one I'll probably put in uh what's it called uh sleeve in a bit. But with that out of the way, folks, this is I Power signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good weekend, folks.